In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down one of my favorite plays from the shotgun spread Y-Flex formation in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is designed to help you improve your game in Madden NFL 21, and I do that through a variety of different ways. One of the ways that I do that is through my Discord, and so if you haven't heard, I have a Discord, and what Discord is is it's basically a community of people who are trying to get better at Madden. And so if you want to follow up, if you want to join a great community, there's a saying that goes, you are the average of the five people that you associate with most. And so I would appreciate you to subscribe, but what I would really think is going to help you get the best bang for your buck is to join my Discord community. That is the best way because, again, you're not just going to get insight from me, but you're going to get insight from other gamers as well. So make sure to join that Discord. A link is in the description. All right, so shotgun spread wide flex. Now, this play, I did not discover this play. This is not um, unique to me by any means. This is one of the guys that I have a lot of respect for in the Madden community. His name is K-Mac, and uh, he's a professional player, uh, has won uh, several uh, thousands of dollars playing the game, and he's also um, known for running the spread formations. One of the reasons I really look up to him a lot, I kind of try to learn from him, and this is a play – play that he discussed on his YouTube channel um, several several months ago in Madden 20 actually he was running this um, and so again this is nothing new this is a very very good play it's been a good play for years but this is in the Baltimore Ravens playbook and the play is circle uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put your best wide receiver on the left side of the screen and then the rest of the guys you know you can really just put whoever honestly it doesn't really matter um, I've got the Ravens here and uh, again we're just going to come out and circle now, um, what we want to do first is I want to show you how this play works against man-to-man. -man. So we're just going to take a sack, and I'm going to show you how some of these routes work. And we're going to take a sack. Okay. So let's go into this replay. This is one of the best ways that I lab is literally I just watch watch instant replay a lot. I spend a lot of time in this, in this mode. But what you're going to see here is at the snap of the ball, you see that you can snap throw. See how we're getting a, a man switch over here on this guy right here? This is a wide open. I can snap throw this. This is probably the best running back route in the entire game. That's what makes this such a good play. Um, on the left side, you see you have this deep crossing route that is getting open against man-to-man. -man. That's why you want to have your best wide receiver over there. And then we have this um, little, little uh, streak there to the inside slot that doesn't really get open against man. And then on the left side, you see that we have a little double move but doesn't really get open against man. But what I wonder is if I can throw that on the break, especially against off-coverage man, and then we've got a stock out, out route that is getting smothered by Stephon Gilmore. So really, all in all, against man-to-man, -man, this play is not the is not um, not killing it. So we're going to need to make some adjustments to make it work. And again, I don't know what KMAX setups are off the top of my head, so feel free to just search him on YouTube, and you can find um, his setup for this play as well. But what I like to do is you could smart route this route to Grant. Um, and so what you're going to see here is if I throw this right on the break, right, uh, not right there, uh, right when he breaks to the outside, let me show you this real quick, just as a snap throw, what you're going to see is right there, click on. You see that if they're shading over the top, I can do that. That's a quick snap throw for me um, that I can hit pretty consistently um, with Grant on that route right there. The other thing that I'm going to have, as you see here, ah, I think I accidentally, I, I want to show you the press coverage as well. Uh, I'll show you the running back route here real quick just so you can see that. Um, but the running back route, right when he cuts up field, right there, you're going to just rat catch that. That's an easy five to seven yards, pretty much every play. And if they're in zone, it's going to be even more dramatic than that. Um, you're going to see here, this is going to kill man-to-man, -man, but it's going to do even better against zone. This play is good against everything that you're going to see, but it's really, really good against zone coverage as well. But you'll see here, when he cuts, it's a, it's a couple window route. You'll see when he cuts, you can literally just cut off the ball, click on your receiver, uh, and make a possession catch. Now, the other thing that you're going to be able to do um, from this is you're also this route to uh, Grant, snap of the ball. You see that it's an unbumpable route. I can literally, this is actually a really, really interesting concept. I'd be interested to hear what you guys think of this in this video. But because this is an unbumpable route, I can throw it uh, low ball, click on, and I can cut it off, as you can see right there. Now, again, this is a, this is a little bit of a man-specific uh, thing, but I do want you to see this. Right there, click on a ah, little bit, little bit early, but you want you want to mess around with that because that's that's a nice little option. Now, if you don't like doing that, if you don't want to risk it, what I would encourage you to do, just throw him on a hitch route. 
Literally just throw him on a hitch route. You're going to snap throw it. It works against man. It works against man every year. You can also slant route him. You can do pretty much anything you want if you don't want to run this route. But um, it's a really, really interesting route. It's a very unique route. Um, and, you know, I still follow Z Farrell's advice from years ago. If you see a weird route, you want to try it out. Now, again, um, you might throw picks, but um, it's going to help you in the long run. So work on that route in practice mode. Again, I really believe that there are some things that you can do with that specific route right when he cuts um, right when he cuts to the outside to help with it a little bit. Um, you can probably, and, and this is just, let, let's just test this out real quick, and then we'll move on to some of the other routes. But right, right there, snap, throw, click on. Not quite there, but... That route does have some potential. I just don't know right off the top of my head exactly what I would do. But right here, you can literally, um, you can literally kind of click onto it um, if you just throw it at these angles. What you want to remember is the game is auto programmed, and so it's going to allow you to do certain things. Now, again, we are throwing a pick every time, and I understand that, but I'm just test messing around with that route. Now, the rest of the routes on this play are money. So this route to Devontae Parker is one of the best routes. I think it's probably the best route in Madden 20 um, as far as, like, a stock route that comes with the play. It's an over route, and it does such a good job. It's a deep cross, but the, what I love about it and what makes it so unique is it's a deep cross from the outside receiver. And you're going to see this just absolutely kills man-to-man. -man. They're literally going to have to put a user defender over there there's really no um, zone unless they start to drop their zones really, really deep. Um, most zones do not drop. You'll see press coverage probably does the best against it, but if they shade over top, this is going to beat man by a ton, as you see here. I mean, literally, it's almost a one-play touchdown against cover two or cover zero man was shaded over top. So this route, this cross route is, is unreal good, unreal good. Um, on the other side here, you've got this stock out, which if you if – you, Stock out routes this year are not bad. Um, they're really good for pulling down zones. But you'll see here, if I just get this ball out there to him, um, this will be okay against me. And, again, I'm going against Stephon Gilmore, one of the best corners. What I would do with this is motion him in just a step, a snap of the ball, get him off that bump, and then you can you can typically shield that from the defender. Um, but if you really, really just want to just beat man, one of the things I do love is motion snapping curls this year. Um, I think it gets a ton of separation, of course, as I throw a pick. Um, I, I love motion snapping curls, so I would recommend either turning that into a curl route or just motion snapping the out route, and that's going to be a very effective against man-to-man. -man. As you see here, you're just going to get this nice animation. Click on. Now, again, Stephon Gilmore is activated and all that, and I understand that. But what we're going to do, uh, but you, you've got two two key routes. The two key routes to me on this play is this route to Brita. As you see there, you can throw it right when he breaks up field. It's very easy five yards over and over again. You also have you also have this deep deep over route that I love. This cross route to Devonte Parker. It's gonna it is going to torch man. It doesn't matter who is guarding him. A very very powerful route. Now the route to the tight end um, is more for zone. But you'll see here, you can use or catch it. Um, but again, that's more for zone. So you've got two routes for man. Let's jump into zone here uh, because, again, this play is much, much better against zone than it is against man, at least in my opinion. But what we'll do is we'll show you that right here. So this over route is going to kill zone. Um, of course, I throw the, the pick on the first play. But what's going to happen is you're basically going to um, – it's more than likely to me, uh, especially after playing the game so much, that they're going to drop into a Tampa 2 type of shell and or a cover 4 type of shell, which we'll go over that in just a moment. But what you'll see is against zone, this route right here kills even more. Um, it's just a quick route, just a quick read. You know, Very, very simple against zone, but very, very powerful. Here you're going to see cover 4 drop, cuts up field right there. And again, it's just 5 to 6, 5 to 6, 5 to 6, 5 to 6. Now, the rest of the routes on this play – um, against zone, you take any zone of the game. This cross route is going to come open at some point. It's not the same point for every zone. For example, if he's in a cover two, let me just show you cover two real quick, it's going to have a little bit better coverage in the middle of the field. So you can throw that right there, but you see the linebacker is going to drop back because of that type of coverage. So you need the wide receiver to get over the top of it because, again, it's an over route. What you're going to see right here is whether the zones are going to pass him off and you can hit that ball right over there on that sideline. Now, again, I did drop Gilmore. Th those flats are dropped back, so understand that, you know, it's depending on the flat zones. Again, you're not going to be able to do this. You, you can't just force that route every single time. But what I do want you to hopefully see 
is that this route does have multiple windows, like right in there, that pocket right there, and that's a dot. That's what makes the route so powerful is because it's crossing the defense uh, at, at multiple different levels. Uh, let me show you cover three real quick. So cover three, this route to Gasecki uh, is actually really interesting. You're going to have um, clears up the zones, and you see you can throw Devontae Parker right in underneath it. Now, what some people like to do this year, at least what I would recommend, is you can also turn him into a crosser. You see here against man-to-man, -man, I can cross these guys over the middle of the field, and we can run other concepts off of this. This play has so much potential, um, so many things that you can do with this play. Uh, but one of the things that I do want to encourage you to do is to test this route to Gusecki. Now, if you, you see how he's on the fade, the stock fade. It's a very unique route, but one of the things that you can do is you can put him on a streak, and that streak's going to allow you a little bit more flexibility when it comes to pass leading um, and op certain openings uh, within the defense. But as you can see here, you're going to be able to hit that crosser pretty much all game long against zone. They're going to have to drop their zones, no joke, to like 20 yards. What makes this such a powerful combination of routes is because not only do they have to drop their zones to stop that crosser, but if you start throwing some of these underneath, underneath, what's going to happen is it's going to open up this circle route, as you can see, to the running back underneath. Underneath, underneath, underneath. That's a theme with the spread. So, anyways, guys, wanted to get you this video out. This is one of the best passing plays in Madden 21. Thank you so much for watching this video, and be sure to join my Discord so that you can stay up to date with more Madden 21 tips, tricks, and strategies.